What's going on, Aces? Welcome back to the channel. Britney Spears revealed that she ended her pregnancy with Justin Timberlake back when they were teenagers because he did not want to be a father. And her new book the, called The Woman in Me, which comes out October 24th. So Britney Spears is sharing a painful experience which she's kept private for the past 20 years. In her upcoming book, The Woman in Me, the pop icon who's 41 years old revealed that when she dated Justin Timberlake, she became pregnant with his baby, but terminated the pregnancy. She says, quote, it was a surprise, but for me, it wasn't a tragedy. I love Justin so much. I always expected us to have a family together one day. This would just be much earlier than I anticipated. She writes about the pregnancy in her book. She says, but Justin definitely wasn't happy about the pregnancy. He said that we weren't ready to have a baby in our lives and that we were way too young. A representative for uh, Justin Timberlake did not respond to people's request for comment. She writes in the book, if it had been left up to me alone, I never would have done it. And yet Justin was so sure that he did not want to be a father. So Brittany writes of her experience undergoing the termination. She says, to this day, it's one of the most agonizing things I've ever experienced in my life. So Brittany and Justin split in 2022. Then she went on to become a mother, welcoming two sons, Sean Preston, who's 18, and Jaden James, who's 17, with her second husband, Kevin Federline. She will release her much-anticipated memoir on October 24th through Gallery Books, who's an imprint of Simon & Schuster Publishing. The memoir comes nearly two years after Spears was released from her court-ordered conservatorship which had been in place for 13 years. The conservatorship was terminated in November, 2021 after Spears gave a fervent public testimony in court in June of 2021, promising to reveal for the first time her incredible journey and strength at the core of one of the greatest performers in pop music history. The singer's memoir illuminates the enduring power of music and love and the importance of a woman telling her own story on her own terms. I love that. I think that Britney is quite possibly one of the most exploited uh, entertainers in our history. So her and Justin were both on the Mickey Mouse Club way back when they were kids. You know, they were musketeers. And she's been in this industry as well as him, you know, for a very long time since they were young children. But um, the fact that, you know, they dated when they were teenagers and Barbara Walters and all these people, they really came at Britney like really hard, especially when her and Justin uh, broke up. And then, of course, you guys remember he made the song Cry Me a River <laughs> with, with Timberland. Um, but they just they, they really came at her hard. Like the video was... Um, shady. Um, you know, it was messy. It was shady. They had a Britney lookalike, and you know, he was like following her around the house and videotaping himself with, you know, another girl, a model in the video. But people just the way that they interviewed her, the way that they talked to her, and again, my mind just um keeps on coming back to. Uh, Barbara Walters because, and not to speak ill of the dead, right? But Barbara was really harsh on young women. And, you know, in comparison to Justin Timberlake, her interviews with men, she would, you know, give them softball questions and she was very um, concerned about how she you know, talk with them as opposed to women, especially women of color. But I know we're going to focus on Brittany right now, but Barbara was treacherous when it came to uh, young women. And so a lot of people feel like, you know, Brittany got a raw deal. And she did because her father, you know, um, a part of her conservatorship, she had an I e I um, IUD which, you know, prevented pregnancy, like he even controlled her reproductive rights. 
<laughs> like, so not only was he controlling her money and taking most of it, um, but, you know, she couldn't even get pregnant. She couldn't even, you know, expand her family. And so the fact that she's coming out with this now um, is empowering. Like, I'm, I'm really proud of her for, um, you know, coming to terms with the fact that this happened and, and speaking her truth after being denied her autonomy for so long. And my heart, my heart does break for her because it seems like, you know, her husband or her most recent husband, you know, they, I think he, he filed for divorce and he's having her pay for his legal fees and his $10,000 a month apartment from her, you know, her parents to her sister, to her soon to be ex-husband. It just seems like everybody in her family um, is just, you know, sponging off of her. Like even, you know, her ex-husband, Kevin Federline, who you guys remember, he used to be a background dancer before they got married, but um, you know, they have the two kids. And so she was paying Kevin um, child support for all these years. And then when there's one certain, one certain son turned 18, um, you know, he's like, well, he's trying to petition for additional child support because he doesn't want to work. Like he hasn't worked since he was dancing for Britney way, way back in the day. Um, but he's again, been sponging off of her money. I mean, it's just, it's like everybody around her is just thirsty and, and, um, exploitive and is sad, you know? The only person I've seen look out for Britney Spears is Octavia Spencer, <laughs> who told her online, you know, when she first um, got out of her conservatorship and, you know, accepted the proposal from her husband or her soon to be ex husband, Sam. You know, Octavia's like, you know, make sure you get a, a, a prenup because, you know, the writing was on the wall, right? And so I'm sure Brittany was just so glad to be free of her controlling father that, you know, she got into a relationship with, unfortunately, another man who was seeking to exploit her and to um, sponge off of her riches. I mean, Brittany, listen, this girl has been working since she was in the Mickey Mouse Club, you know. Um, I'm not sure how old they were, but they were like under 10. So she's been singing and dancing out here for at least 30 years. And I feel like even though she's only 41 and 41 is still relatively young, that she should be able to retire. I mean, and enjoy the fruit of her labor because a 30 year career is really a nice, you know, stretch of time. And she's, you know, put in the work, she's put in the dedication. She has, you know, had her, um, you know, world tours and Regency in Vegas. And I feel like I just, I want somebody to be in her corner. You know what I mean? Like I really would love for her to find someone who wanted to love Britney for who Britney is and not try to sponge off of her and exploit her for her money as so many people have done in her life, including her parents, including her sister, including her ex-husband and Kevin Federline and soon to be ex-husband, Sam. Like these people are just vultures and it's disgusting. And so I'm really glad that, again, she's, you know, sharing her truth because Justin making the Cry Me a River video, it's like, okay, so now he's crying a river because she's telling her truth. Because the truth is that they both made enough money, even though they were in their late teens, I think 18, 19, she was 18, he was 19. They were musketeers. They were pop icons, him with NSYNC and her, you know, being a solo artist, but they were millionaires, both of them. They had enough money um, to successfully, you know, raise a child, even if they just, you know, chose to be co-parents. Still, her being a, pipe, a pop icon, you know, in and of herself, <clears throat> He was uh, with NSYNC, but then he chose to go solo. Like there was no reason in my mind, right? I've never had an abortion, just to be honest with you guys. But I'm saying that she's saying it was a traumatic experience. It was the most 
you know, um, the hardest thing that she's ever done in her life that she writes in her, her book. So in my mind, I really feel like I wish Brittany would have had someone in her corner that would have given her counsel to say, look, you can do this by yourself. You don't even need Justin. If he was, you know, unsupportive, she had more than enough money. You know, she could have hired a nanny. She could have hired help. She was a multimillionaire at what? 15, 16 years old, even before she met Justin, right? So I don't know. I'm just, I'm glad that she, you know, is free of all her secrets, right? They say that you're only as sick as your secrets. So I'm glad that, you know, she's putting this book out. I'm glad that she's getting away from her blood sucking family, her ex husbands, plural, <laughs> and she's speaking her truth about. Um, the baby that she terminated with Justin because, again, she's all about freedom. And like, you know, Cardi B said, you know, she said, I'm sexy dancing in the house. I feel like Britney Spears <laughs> when she was, you know, rapping on put it on the floor. So Britney's doing the same thing that she's done throughout her life on Instagram. And so she's so used to getting paid for it that she's doing it freely in her house. And people are, you know, saying that they're concerned, which I get that. I do. But I feel like she's earned it. Like she's gone through enough. She has not had anybody in her family um, who's had her back, whether it's, you know, um, exploitive parents, sister, husbands. She, she can twirl in her house. But take, take away the knives, though. Take away the, take away the weapons and just let give her, you know, some pom poms or batons or whatever. But I'm glad that she's speaking her truth. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Take care, aces. Bye.